Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome <coughs> excuse me. Uh, welcome to my shop on this Sunday morning. Um, got a few things to show around the, the shop. Um, we're <coughs> we've loaded all the bases, so I've got um, things on three mills to show you and uh, a few other interesting stuff. Uh, that's uh, I've got everything ready after breakfast I'll be coming back in and, and starting to um, deal with all these jobs so a bit of freehand carrying around with the camera shortly but firstly I'd like to um, uh, say that I'm getting pretty excited there's only two weeks to go uh, before I get on the big bird and fly to the States um, getting ready for the big bash of um, uh, Stan's, uh, Stan's Bash in, in California. Uh, in between time, you know, Quinn Barry, as I've mentioned before, has done some great work on my logo, taking my old logo and reworking it. And I'll just give you a bit of a snippet here. So, I'll turn that radio off. So, over here on the door um, is three of those uh, uh, different ones that he's done, uh, sort of from the same, the same one, but uh, he's given me different options. And uh, this one will probably be going on my truck uh, on the sides there. Um, this one is uh, more international style. Um, and this is just the general one that I've got on my stationery. So uh, there you have it. The, um, I think he's done a, an absolutely fantastic job on it. Looks like I need to paint that door sometime too. Another one for the bucket list. So uh, I'll, um, I'll just take this camera off the stand and we'll wander around and have a look at some of the things that are, that are happening around here. Um, so, what we have here is a bread crumbing machine and I worked on that during the week and um, rebuilt it. I put a, a new fan down below. Um, the gearbox couldn't be removed um, in its present, the present state the way it was. Um, you, couldn't, you just couldn't get it out of there, the gearbox and the motor. So what I did is underneath this plate is, a, is a, a plate that's been welded in after they fitted the gearbox. So I made a cover plate, cut out a, a notched out a window and I could take that gearbox out, fitted a new one onto it, um, cleaned everything up. I've got the gear here and I'm not sure of the orientation whether it should be in this direction or the other direction. So I've left it like that and I'm taking it tomorrow to um, to work. So what happened was um, the fan similar to this, I've shown it before, was mounted up underneath here and it feeds this little hole uh, for blowing blowing air into whatever the system is that gets, that gets fitted onto here. And that had all rotted out from the washing, you know, because water gets down inside here. It's not, it's not a uh, very well designed and built machine um, and uh, so what I did was I made a transition piece uh, this is this is a, a model of a new fan that I fitted in I bought a new fan and I made a transition piece a square uh, 300 millimeters long about 12 inches long and I fitted that from that flange down underneath so it's actually brought the fan into an area where it can be can be serviced. So I made I made this transition piece here. So instead of it being tucked up inside, now this fan came without a um, without a capacitor. So there's a capacitor to be wired up into that, and I'll leave that to the electrician in the uh, pasta factory. So that's going out tomorrow uh, to the pasta factory in the morning, and they will finish off the work that they have to do their technician. The other one is a couple of um, end shells um, that, um, that I've, I've got to put, re bush 
uh, they came with the with the uh, with a bush in them that is worn so I ground that out and pulled that out um, the, this is the second one but when I went to look at it I discovered that the whole thing is cracked and broken now while we're at it uh, I need to um, uh, talk to Tom uh, this 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 uh, machine here, Tom sent me, and it was absolutely fantastic saw. But I've got a complaint, and um, and I think I'm going to have to talk to Tom when I'm when I'm there in California about uh, getting a uh, um, a warranty job on this. It's it's changed colours for some reason or other. It's got all this all this dirt on it, um, and uh, you know it's lost its pristine. Uh, pristine colour so I need to talk to Tom about that. Uh, over here we've got uh, an electrical wiring uh, that I'm, I'm setting up. It had, um, this is for a, a panel saw. Um, I'm rewiring it now for single phase. It was as uh, three phase so I've had to change the light. The light was a 380 volt or 415 volt. Change that to 220 so all this now is going to be 220 single phase with, and I'm fitting up the overloads and so forth. So there's a bit of work to be done on that one um, over the next couple of days. Then um, what else have we got around here? Uh, over here we've got parts of a fly press. That's the, um, that's the, the, the arm. I've had the fly press painted uh, and here we've got some, uh, some dies. Um, I've got to rework those dies and clean up all of the these parts and and, and set up. I've taken the the press itself over to the client who's going to who's buying it, and I just now need to clean this up and take that over as well. Now over on on the uh, small mill, uh, we've got to get her out here. This is a casting with a broken um, with a broken. Uh, what is it in there? Uh, it's a um, it's a broken thread tap. They they haven't tapped the rest of them. They broke that tap, and so I've got that set up now, ready to go, with, uh, with a and with a carbide um, carbide cutter. I'm going to slowly machine that out and uh, pull it apart. That carbide tip it is smaller than the actual hole, of course. So um, uh, we just work at that gently, and we'll get that one out. And then over on the big mill, we've got another getter out. Um, and this is a diffuser plate from a uh, locomotive turbo, uh, turbocharger. And uh, it's got a broken bolt in it there. And I've just set that up, uh, ready to uh, pull it. That's a number 1032 TPI uh, thread. There's a few of those around. They hold the secondary plate that goes on here um, and uh, when I was looking around I noticed that there's a broken tap in here as well down inside there there's a broken tap so that's another job um, that wasn't on the cars but that'll be uh, that'll be done all set up zeroed in and so forth got ready here with our uh, with our famous RTD uh, we've also got the uh, our famous RTD over here uh, on the small mill ready to go um, and then over on the big mill we've been working on, on the uh, HBM I should say we've been working on this pallet this has been uh, featured in a, in a couple of movies and uh, I'd set it up to drill holes on the sides here around um, and while I was doing that this other part needed to be done as well so I've set it up it's also got a broken tap inside And I've set that up, and I'm starting to work on that. That's a uh, that's a half. That's a five eighths UNC. It's also got a hole down here um, where they uh, when they were machining it on the machining centre, they've drilled that. So I'm, I'm going to have to clean all of this up on the inside and outside, and heat this up, and weld up that hole as well. Uh, so that pallet um, has got its first job. Even uh, even without planning it as such. Um, what else have we got? 
So we just we've got a hell of a mess in here of course. I'll just swing back again. The place is full of snow everywhere. Um, it needs a good clean up. But I'll finish these jobs this weekend and then I'll, I'll do a, uh, a major clean up in the workshop. There's, there's, uh, it's a mess. As far as I'm concerned, the place looks a bloody mess. Um, so we've got a few other odds and ends over here. Uh, little jobs that are on the pallet, uh, on, the, on the little trolley that need to be looked after. This, uh, these tools here, that these um, brackets here that I need to finish machining and that's the pallet will do, will be come into play doing that one. So there we have it, a great weekend, uh, it's nice outside, it's going to be 19 degrees today, uh, so that's not too bad. I've had the aircon on this morning a bit and that's probably provided with some of the uh, um, background noise and pity about that but at any rate I suppose um, what we can do here is, um, is come back and, and, and just reiterate that this, the bash is on and um, we, um, we're looking forward to that I've got a lot of work to do to prepare for myself for that and it'll be great to catch up and meet with all these um, uh, all these fellow youtubers um, That'll be great. See ya.